Hey everyone, welcome back to the Project IV channel. I'm Jay Surya, the founder of Project IV, a career counseling and admission consulting firm based out of India. Today, we are tackling an Asian giant, the Nanyang Technological University in Singapore. If you're an ambitious student and are looking for a world-class tech, engineering, or business education in Asia, this is your complete guide to NTU admissions. It's most popular programs and the all-important scholarship bond. I visited NTU recently to know more about the university. And the sheer scale of the campus is impressive. It's a massive, integrated research institute with beautiful and modern infrastructure. And it's a great fit for you if you're academically focused, self-directed, and ready for the scale of a large global university, especially in your first year where the classes can be quite big. While in Singapore, you benefit from the highly efficient, global, and highly safe environment. NTU typically admits about 10% of international students each year, drawing strong talent pool from neighboring countries like India, China, and Indonesia. It's a vibrant, modern, and high-achieving Asian campus where English is the primary language of instruction and interaction. Here are the most sought-after UG programs for international students. First up is Engineering and Computer Science. Computer Science is the most competitive undergrad degree is offering both the traditional curriculum and specialized uh, new age curriculum like Data Science and AI. The great part of NTU is its flexibility. You can pursue multiple dual degree or major minor combinations like business, sustainability or finance along with your computer science degree, making your profile a truly interdisciplinary and obviously future-proof. The College of Engineering offers the full spectrum of electrical, mechanical, civil and chemical, plus modern fields like robotics, bioengineering and environmental engineering. Next up is business and finance. The highly reputed Nanyang Business School offers the most popular uh, Bachelor of Accountancy and Bachelor of Business programs. For those who are looking to bridge their technical gap, the Bachelor of Applied Computing and Finance is a fantastic program blending tech and finance knowledge. It's essential especially for today's fast-growing fintech industry. And finally, the elite dual degree REP program. At NTU, the most rigorous and reputed programs apart from the medicine program is the Renaissance Engineering Program REP. This is a very challenging four and a half dual degree program that culminates with a bachelor's of engineering degree and a master's in technology management. This program is highly selective and only admits students with strong academic performance and on scholarship. Now let's talk about placements and salary expectations. The career prospects of NTU graduates are truly phenomenal. The overall employment rates for uh, graduates is consistently been over 90% securing jobs within the first six months of graduation. NTU graduates from business and engineering programs receive uh, average monthly pay of about 5,000 to 7,000 Singapore dollars. Uh, the graduates from uh, IT and dual degree programs in fact draw higher than that average number. Also remember that Singapore is a regional technological and finance hub. You'll find NTU you alumni recruited across tech, finance, consulting and engineering by major global firms right in the city. Now let's talk admissions. Admissions for Indian students has become intensely competitive and it is rising the bar higher every year. Grades are non-negotiable. You must demonstrate consistent top tier grades across your uh, high school. Uh, for Indian boards such as CBSC, ISC and state boards, a minimum of 90% is expected across all core subjects. In Ivory Diploma, the target should be at the least 40 out of 40 points overall. If you consider A-levels, you need a AAA standing at least for, uh, you know, as minimum requirement. For A-level students, here's a crucial reminder, you have to attend the March-April series. The May series of examinations is not accepted by the university. Now, here are some application insights and strategy. Number one is, NTU gives you admission only after you submit your 12th grade marks, that is, after you get your results. They do not offer conditional admits. Keep that in mind. When it comes to standardized tests, although they are optional, they tend to strengthen your application, especially if you're not from the mainstream curriculum. A good JE advanced ranks, not main ranks. Advanced ranks are considered a strong performance metric for your admissions. AP tests are highly recommended for students pursuing state board to show your academic rigor. English proficiency tests like IELTS and TOEFL are not required if your medium of instruction at school is English. However, I recommend state board uh, students to give these tests. Now, NTU also offers 
aptitude based admissions it has a fantastic path uh, for uh, you know students who have especially performed well in international olympiads like the international physics olympiad or the international maths olympiad etc or have participated in national or international sports events have uh, significant leadership uh, activities or community based activities or good published research all these will be considered holistically as part of your application so let's talk about tuition fees and scholarships ntu has two different fee structures that you need to be aware of first up is the full tuition fee which is non subsidized tuition fee this is the total original fee that you pay for the university which comes around 40000 singapore dollars per annum roughly converting to about 28 lakhs per annum next up is the subsidized tuition fee which is a significantly uh, reduced tuition fee that comes to about 18000 singapore dollars which is about 12 to 13 lakhs per annum in order to receive the subsidized fee you obviously need a very strong profile and at the same time you need to also commit to the service obligation bond this is a 3 year commitment to stay and work in singapore post graduation if let's say you decide to break this bond you decide to move out of singapore within this 3 years period you'll have to pay the difference in the tuition fee and also a penalty to the singapore government i know it's a major commitment but it also opens doors to a subsidized world class education when it comes to deadlines the ntu application portal is now open this is november so it's open and for indian students it will it will be open till march of 2026 it's a challenging yet very rewarding path the competition is immense but if you crack it the career reward is immense so all the very best if you need expert guidance in navigating the high stakes ntu application process do reach out to us comment below if you have any application specific doubts and subscribe for more insights on top global university applications